Admiral Ozzel went down like a ton of bricks in Empire Strikes Back when he failed Darth Vader time and time again. Now, it was Admiral Piet's turn, and Vader warned him to not fail him. Otherwise, of course, we know what would follow, but what happens when you not only fail Darth Vader, you fail Emperor Palpatine, the one person superior to the person you fear the most. Believe it or not, we've got such a story in issue number one of the Darth Vader 2020 series, when Admiral Piet was put between a rock and a hard place. You can pick by yourself who is the hard place and who is the rock, because Piet was put in between Vader and Palpatine, their own drama. In fact, issue number one started that drama right from the beginning. The 2020 series started off right after Empire Strikes Back, when Darth Vader faced his son Luke Skywalker in an attempt to make him understand how powerful Skywalkers are. If they could join together, they could kill Emperor Palpatine and rule the galaxy and as father and son. However, things did not pan out for Darth Vader. We know what happened next. Luke ran away from Darth Vader and now he is on a quest. Vader is determined to get to his son before Emperor Palpatine. The first pages of the issue shows us exactly that. Vader rem reminiscing about how he went against his son, how he proclaimed everything he wanted to do together as a family, bring back his Skywalker family together. If he could not bring back Padme from the dead, then at least a piece of Padme, his son, he could bring back. Comic starts off with Vader watching on on the bridge, reminiscing about everything, and at a moment's notice, he turns back and simply walks away from Admiral Piet, who had joined Vader as well on the bridge. Anger and steam was coming out of Darth Vader. As you can see by the comic panel, it is steaming blood red. And at the left side, it is none other than Admiral Piet on his P's and Q's, fearing Darth Vader at this moment, knowing that he could snap at any second. Vader, though, was not going to wait. His shuttle was ready, his death troopers by his side, they were going to leave at once. Of course, who could forget the faithful forensics droid that accompanied Darth Vader, Red 67, who was trained in data retrieval. It was this droid who would help Vader along the way to find not only Padme's grave, but what lays inside, decoding everything until Vader would get what he wanted. Just before Vader could leave, however, there was a communication. Mass Amida, the Grand Vizier of Emperor Palpatine, was now contacting Admiral Piet asking if the Millennium Falcon had escaped. Piet told him that that is correct, but the Emperor requested an audience with Lord Vader immediately, and he ordered Piet to tell Vader to make contact with the Emperor right away. Stuttering, Admiral Piet just asked for a moment. Through his comlink, he told Lord Vader that this is Admiral Piet and that they had received a message from, but before he could finish, another Imperial told the Admiral that that is Lord Vader's shuttle already in space. Admiral Piet now desperately made a final attempt. He asked for Lord Vader one more time. By his facial expressions, he was just shaking in his boots. They had just let the Millennium Falcon escape, not only with Leia on board, with, but with Luke as well. As I said, Admiral Piet would be just happy to escape with his life at this moment. He made several attempts to contact Lord Vader, who obviously heard him at this moment. He heard Admiral Piet trying to contact him, but it was to no avail, as the shuttle just jumped into hyperspace, and it did not reply to Admiral Piet, who had Massimita online waiting for him. A stunned Admiral Piet could not do anything but look on. Massimita again asked for Admiral Piet, but Piet just simply said that, I'm afraid Lord Vader is currently unavailable. As a disheartened, stone-faced, and afraid Admiral Piet simply put the comlink down and had nothing else to relay, he was just crushed with fear at this moment. To not get demonetized, I'm just gonna say it politely, he pooped a brick because he knew that Emperor Palpatine was waiting for a response, for a positive response. Now Admiral Piet, not only has he failed Darth Vader in capturing the Millennium Falcon, but he has failed the Emperor of the Galaxy by not being able to reach Darth Vader and connect him with the Grand Vizier and Emperor Palpatine. 
but it seemed that Palpatine was just amused that Vader was not available. Is he now, said Emperor Palpatine, and started laughing to himself basically, knowing full well what Vader was up to. On his left side was Masamita watching on as the hologram of Admiral Piet still appeared before both of them, and as you can see, not only by the pictures is Admiral Piet completely, deathly afraid at this moment, but, but he has no other comment to relate to Emperor Palpatine. He is just wishing that the Emperor could dismiss him without killing him instantly. Fortunately for Admiral Piet, that's exactly what happened. That's why we see him in Return of the Jedi too. Otherwise, he would have been killed at this moment if Emperor Palpatine didn't have somewhat of a sense of humor and a pragmatist of sorts, he knows exactly why he couldn't contact Darth Vader, why Admiral Piet failed at this moment, because Vader did not want to talk to anybody, especially Palpatine. We all know what happened with the several issues that are coming. Vader went on to his own adventures, not involving Palpatine, and in the end, Palpatine even accused Vader of treason, since he went behind the back of Palpatine and collaborated with Sabe as well, a known rebel in the galaxy. So yeah, all in all, I suppose that Admiral Piet was lucky at this moment because he was in a lose-lose position. Not in a million years did he think he could win this because Vader and Palpatine were feuding at that moment and Piet learned it the hard way. So kudos to Admiral Piet for sticking in there. And yeah, what did you guys think about Admiral Piet's reaction at this moment? Talk to me down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up down below. Subscribe for dailies. Now you can have an awesome day, Star Wars fans. I'll see you in the next video. And may the Force be with you. Until then.